ladies and gents hello welcome to another vloggy 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 vlog um how's everybody doing on this beautiful day and by beautiful day i mean a chilly chilly wednesday welcome today is my birthday january 19th and uh, I actually haven't ridden my bike in like a week. So I am kind of just uh, in a mood to take my bike out for a minute. Don't really have a place to go. Don't really have uh, anywhere to be. Well, I mean, I should be at my desk um, working. But just taking a little lunchtime, lunchtime cruise, if you will exploring the hood my battery was dead again i actually bought a new battery for the bike um because this one is three years old so i actually just jump started the bike and i would like to i'm guessing uh if i try to if i park it right now and try to start it again it'll probably die and yes my dials are gonna get fixed i'm gonna do it this week because next week we're gonna have snow it's gonna be freezing again so I'm gonna be okay being uh, without a bike for a... Uh... Wait, are we recording? Yeah. So I'm gonna be okay being without a bike for, uh, for a few, uh, for a week. There we go. I'm just doing an exploration of my favorite areas. Come here for drone flying and bike testing oh look at that that's slammed um so yeah working from home this is my lunch skipping lunch because i'm actually going out for dinner later today um and i'm gonna eat a lot of food so going light on the lunch coffee for lunch and this little ride I just wanted to kind of reflect on my journey as a motorcyclist so far on my bike journey you know on my uh, riding journey a little reflection if you will so I've been biking motorcycling bicycling I've been doing my whole life since I was like fucking three or two or whoever whoever years old all right but this is yeah i like this area this is where you can go do burnout you can go uh you know just be a jerk well actually don't tell these people that i only go here when it's after hours um ooh, that was uh, ice so anywho yeah i've been riding for eight years this is the only bike i've known as far as intimate intimate no goes and it has 59,389 miles 308 yeah and there was at least two different periods of time where I went on long trips where my odometer little sensor didn't work so this thing definitely has over 60,000 miles by now for sure but whatever so when i get the new di new dials put on i'm actually going to transfer that mileage to the new dials because i could could pretend like my bike has zero miles but i'm not going to do that my bike feels a little jerky it's probably time to uh lube the chain and whatnot it's a little tight so as far as reflection goes what does that even mean i don't know I'm not prepared for this presentation. Um, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with where I am. You know, this vlog obviously changed the whole trajectory of me being a biker and whatnot. You know, it changed. I bet my whole experience would have been very different if uh, 
I didn't start the vlog. Who knows what bike I'd be riding? Maybe it wouldn't even be Ducati. No, I mean, I doubt that. I think I'd still be into the whole Ducati, Ducati power, but uh, who knows? I mean, my love for Ducati is not just because of the freaking vlog name. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, bro, sorry, sorry, sorry. But yeah, as far as like the riding that I do, the places that I go, everything's been deeply affected by the vlog. For better or for worse. I've taken some epic trips. So that's one, that's one thing that whenever I think about myself as a biker, I think of all these awesome adventures that I've been on. Um, like going cross country twice, for example. That's a thing. Nova Scotia and Canada and all that. And countless trips to Maine. Wait, I think this is uh, where we take a left. Is this, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Yeah. I don't think it is, but we'll take a left anyway. Look at these folks. Oh no. We're gonna wait for uh, this process. It's okay. So yeah, I always think about that. I always think about the, the long, far, crazy journeys. Because as far as the actual motorcycle is concerned, I could not have made a better decision. Could not have made a better decision. This thing has treated me well for the price that I paid. Jeez. Oh, look, somebody's got a house over here. Nice. Yeah, I paid $3,900 for this thing. And how much joy. My, my man on the, in the bus is going out fucking on the sidewalk. That's sick. How much joy did I receive, you know? 8 million kilograms of joy. Limitless. Limitless excitement. I could pass this guy, but, uh, maybe, yeah, I could do that. Where are we? What is happening here? We'll take a right. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going, but we'll, we'll go this way. So, am I proud of how far I've come as a little motorcycle rider yes kind of a useless topic I know but it's my birthday so I do whatever I want what would I have done differently mm. the only thing I could say is I could probably have been a better friend <laughs> which has to do with motorcycles because motorcycle friendships are super important to me. I just like, you know, like sometimes I get antisocial and weird and I don't want to go on rides or do this and that for no reason. Very selfish. So, um, so yeah, that could be a, that could be a thing. But anything else, I mean, yeah, I've had some opportunities to go on some test rides wait what do we got down here on test rides and other things that I didn't take advantage of so that's another thing I love this area look at this big ass bridge it's all fresh and new fresh and new last time I was here this was before they even opened this area there's nobody there right I think there might be something over here um sick yeah like opportunities but it goes back to like friendships almost it's like you like some of the best things that happened to me with these motorcycles um was because i took a chance or it was like an impulsive thing right place right time or i said yes at the right time you know 
what is going on here we're gonna go to the right this is fine we're just going in circles at this point basically we'll do a little loop to loo I'll go to the spot that I always go to that happens to be one of my favorites The left, am I correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we take a right over there. Beautiful. This baby still runs, so that's good. See, I gotta put in a new battery though. The new battery will go in maybe this week. I could have done it today, but I just. Not on my birthday. I don't wanna do. I don't want to do that on my B-Day. Mm, so nice when you're not speeding and you're just chilling. As far as all my riding gear goes, no regrets. You know, I would do uh, all the same gear again if I had to. Uh, showy helmets as your first. I mean, that was perfect. You know, that introduced me to the kind of... Uh, quality that's a nice block down there it introduced me to the kind of quality i can expect you know because if i've never had a a showy i wouldn't even know i wouldn't even know how sweet the sugar can taste which is you know for better and for worse Come on, baby. Sweet casual love. You can't go around. There you go. There you go, buddy. You did it. You did it. See? Nervous boy. street we'll take a right because I kind of want to go on little little residential streets and this one seems little enough boom could go get some Taco Bell right now and blow my stomach out nah not on the b-day not on the b-day oh no this black goes the whole way it's okay it happens cute little spider what is going on here buddy a little bit of traffic right here huh it's okay come on bro you can't squeeze through there come on man why are you what are you doing bro what is your fucking play Look at this traffic. Imagine. No way. No way, Jose. Folks over here are tight as well. It's all right. There's just traffic everywhere, huh? That's just the name of the game. It's okay. I'm gonna go to my little spot. go to my little spot and then uh 
probably go get a coffee and just sit in the park for a few few minutes not going too far yo this guy sucks at driving what an amateur what an amateur I doing I can't believe I'm going this slow I'm having so much fun for some reason I'm having like a blast over here just chilling like this I'll take this all the way bit of speed good baby good baby best baby there's a cute little park down that way that I used to uh, go to back in the day nobody around we can go this way this okay look at the view over here you got Empire State Building Long Island City to the right there We're basically on the edge of Greenpoint, Queens, and Long Island, no, Greenpoint, Brooklawn, and Long Island City, Queens. Got some graffiti over here, got some old ass taxis and shit. Little parking situation, we got some uh, motor homes and whatnot, totes of doors, totes of doors. <laughs> All right, and here we are. Look at all this construction here. Construction City, USA, tell you what. But yeah, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for sticking with me in this vlog, with this vlog. Been at it for like six years now, I think. I think that's, yeah, it's kind of silly, I know. It's a, it's a little bit silly, but it was it's fun anyway. And we'll talk to you all soon, okay? This is my little spot over here. My classic little spot. The amount of movies they've shot here and whatnot. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright, bros. I will talk to you soon. Look at that. Look at this view. Alright, bye.